What's up, everybody? Gibson's Lawn Service checking back in with another one. Look, I wanted to put this quick video out. Well, this video ain't, it's not gonna be quick. It's gonna be a little lengthy. Listen, it was something I was trying to get done for one of my clients, and I, and I was reaching out to him, letting him know what was the delay, what was going on, what was what. And this is what he responded with, right? He said, I appreciate all that you do. He said, it is so easy doing, doing business with your company. People think I'm a company. I'm just a one-man band. He said, it is so easy doing business with your company. Because when I met the guy, he'd been through four or five different lawn guys, right? And it's frustrating when you try to do business with people, but they don't hold up the end of the business, right? The main problem he was having before I picked his property up was garden bed maintenance. He said, ain't nothing to get the grass cut, but it's, it's like a headache. People don't want to keep the weeds pulled out the beds. And I'm charging him, I'm charging him my price to keep this property up and, and he don't have no problem paying it. What he has told me, whatever this property need to be done, just do it. He said, as long as it's just not crazy, he said, just reach out to me, but nine times out of 10, I'm gonna tell you to do it. And that's the relationship we had. When it come down to me getting paid, he pays me within the hour. When it come down to keeping his property maintained, he is on the top of my list, right? Certain people operate in a in a uh, particular type of way. Look, I'm gonna give you an example on, on how I do business, and my wife said I shouldn't do this, but this is how I do business. If I'm needing something done from you, if I need you to do something for me, I am paying up front, and I'm gonna give y'all a little backstory because this video is gonna be a little lengthy, right? All right, look, a while back. I was trying to get some shirts made, right, for my company. This was maybe about like a year and a half, two years ago. This was before my wife started making all of my products. I reached out to a few people trying to find out who makes shirts. Got in touch with this lady. I said, look, I need 10. I, I'm not going to buy a large quantity unless I know you can come on with the product. So in the beginning, I always get a small amount. I said, look, I need 10 shirts made. This is what she told me. She said, I charge uh, $12 per shirt, 10 shirts is 120. I said, okay, do I need to provide the shirts or you will? She said she will provide the shirts. I said, you know what, I'm, give me your address. I'm gonna go ahead and send you the shirts because it's a particular shirt I want. So I sent her the shirt and when the shirts was delivered, I paid her. Cause at Amazon, you get the stuff in, a, in about two days or a day. So I went ahead and paid her the 120 and then she got the shirts. Right. Now, this is how I do business. I am not reaching out to you on nothing because this is your brand, this is your name, okay? Week went by, didn't hear nothing. Two weeks went by, didn't hear nothing. The beginning of the third week is when she reached out, all right? Now, she said 120 to do the shirts. I ended up giving the lady $160. That's how I do business because I want, to, I want you to put some fire on your feet when you're doing business with me. When you're doing business with me, I'm gonna give you what you want plus a little more because I want some fire under your feet. Because I want you to, I want you to be like, man, I'm gonna take care of this guy. This is a, this a, this is an awesome client to have, right? It took you, it took this lady four weeks to get me my product. It took her four weeks to get me my product. And when I got my product, the logo was real small. You see the size shirts I wear. I'm a two X guy. The logo was real small on the back. You know what I told her? I said, thank you, I appreciate it, and I moved on. I'm not gonna bash you about your business because if you can't open your eyes and see, man, this I told you what I wanted. This logo was real small. It's not what this guy is asking for. You rushed my job. So thank you, I appreciate it. You can keep the extra that I gave you. I'm just not doing no more business with you. I'm not throwing mud on you. I'm not throwing salt on your name. I'm just not doing business with you no more. And I'm not gonna tell you I'm not doing business with you no more. You can see that I'm not doing business with you anymore. All right, now, what, listen, when you're in business, you wanna have suppliers that you can lean and trust on, okay? I got a good mulch supplier. I got a good supplier when it comes down to fly, uh, flowers. I have a good mechanic when, it get, when it's time to work on my equipment. The only thing I don't have is a pine straw supplier. I don't have one. I've been through two companies. One company was coming out of Louisiana. He started caring about quantity more than quality. He had a good setup going on. Deliver whatever you need to your front door. Now this guy was like an hour and 45 minutes away. 
The product was horrible. The product was horrible. I'm not buying from him anymore. I found another guy. I found another guy. I wanted product from him. And, and this is how I do business now. This is how I do business. The guys that's coming that was coming out of Louisiana. The first time I done business with them, I understand I'm two hours away. I don't want to waste your time. And I want to show you that I'm serious. So I gave you that $1,200 up front. Now, it took you three weeks to get my product on the first go round, right? The second go round, the product was on time, but the quality was trash. But hey, I gave you another 1200 That was fine. The third, I said, you know what? Everybody will slip up here and there. But the first time I got quality from the, the product from them, the quality was good. Second time, the quality was trash. I said, man, but you know, hey, let's see. Third time, quality was trash again. Not doing business with you no more. I don't have to call you and tell you, hey man, your product trash. You see it? You see how you see how much so how much you see what the product is when you rolling it up? You see that it's trash. Alright? Now I end up finding another pine straw supply. Same thing. Hey man, I'm serious. Gave you sixteen hundred dollars up front. It took you three weeks and a half to give me my product. Now your product had good quality, but I can't try. I can't depend on you. I done business with that same guy twice. Slower getting me my product. You paid him up front. Slower getting me my product. So hey, I'm not doing business with that company anymore. I'm currently in the process of look of looking for another pine straw supplier. And look, I can go on and on and on about how I've paid people to do things. And, 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 and their turnaround rate sucks. You tell me one thing, but your turnaround rate is trash. It all goes back to your name. See, the name of those two pine straw suppliers, their name was on the sign. See, they, they don't care nothing about their name. They just want the money. I care about my name. When I'm out here at Gibson's Lawn Service, I care about my name. I will take a loss on the job. If I got to come out of pocket to straighten something out, I'm going to do that to preserve my name. That name is important. You can't put a price tag on that name. When you come to Ocean Springs, you mention Gibson, it is known with people. And I'm I, and I'm not saying I've made the name known. This is what happened. It's a it's some way it's a well-off Gibson family in Ocean Springs. I never met these people. I hear about them all the time. And when people see my truck ride down the road, they see Gibson. When I pull up and give quotes, I've been told this numerous times from the well-off clients that I have. Are you related to Tommy Gibson or, 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 or what's the other guy's name? Uh, it's some Gibsons around here that I'm not, I'm not related to. I'm originally a Flowers. My grandfather was a Flowers. He was raised by Gibsons back in Georgia, and he changed his name to Gibson. Therefore, my father's a Gibson. I'm a Gibson. But that would have, that would, that would have been a nice. That would have had a nice ring to a flowers lawn and landscape instead of Gibson. But it don't matter. But see, by me being a Gibson, people associate me with those Gibsons. They are some nice people, well-off people, and they, they take pride in their name. And I never met them. I do the same thing as well. I See, I have three daughters. When, when y'all, look, and I, and I stress this, when, when they step out the house, they are representing me, the man of the house, because they are a Gibson. You will conduct yourself in a certain way. You will carry yourself a certain way. You will handle business a certain way. Because that name, that name means everything to me. When you ain't got no sons, how you gonna pass the last name down? I'm not worried about passing no last name down. That's not important to me. The Gibsons that I am concerned with live under the roof I live in. Talking to y'all, I forgot to get gas. And that's what you have to look at when you're doing business. That name, you got to hold value to that name. And the people that I have done business with, it's been it's been about good it's about it's been a few people that I've done business with this year. They don't care nothing about their name. They just want the money. Therefore, you get a a, a a sorry product, which means I'm not doing business with any of these people ever again. Like I was saying before, your name, your name, that that's 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 something. Once your name is tarnished, you can you can't ever get that back. Because look, people are quick to say. This person screwed me over. This person done that versus, man, this guy done me a good job. People are quick to say that. And see, like, I'm not the type, I'm not going to, look, if you do me a good job, I'll say, hey, man, this guy done good work. But if you do me a sloppy job, I'm not going to say nothing about it. I'm not going to say, see, I'm not the type, once, you, listen, listen, 
Once you screw me over as far as money or doing business, there's no sense in me to, to, to jump on you, whoop you, go over there, break the man arm. What you going to get out of that? You, you'll catch a charge. So that kind of stuff, I just, all right, whatever. That's how you operate business, man. Let's move on. Not even worry about that. Because you could have made so much money doing business with me. I'm telling you, it's hard. To, listen, this general, what I learned from my generation, the 40 year olds, the 30 year olds, the 20 year olds, you, 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 uh, 90% of them you can't do business with. They're not businessmen. They're not business oriented. And they only care about themselves. Like I told y'all before, I could have been I could have been greedy plenty of times. I've passed work to people. You know what I'm saying? I've given people opportunities to let's do business together. And then you turns out you're sorry, businessman. Look, you will get far in life by doing quality work and standing behind your brand. See, I like I got told y'all before, I am a brand. I am a brand. I'm not a, I'm not just after the money. Because if I was just after the money, it could have been a lot of projects I'd done for half the price and got the money and ran. If you don't care about your brand, I don't want to do no kind of business with you because you are not a good business man or woman. But I tell you one thing, once I find me an awesome pine straw supplier, he going to make money, I'm going to make money. Once I find me a good shade tree mechanic, he going to make money, I'm going to make money. That's just the way I do business. When I do business, I don't come to play. I come to do business. I'm about to grease your pockets as well as you greasing mine. That's just how it works. Look, I got to get to work. I got to get some things done, and I'll see y'all on the next one.